Hello, fellow DIYers. I was asked, uh, well, first of all, thank you to all my subscribers, my new subscribers, my old subscri subscribers, and my subscribers yet to be. Um, man, I'm not sure if I like this camera angle or not. I kind of do, kind of don't. Uh, I get off on a tangent so easy. It's not even funny. I should I should be a lot more prepared for these videos than I thought I was going to be. Uh, but I guess I'm not. So bear with me for two seconds. I was asked if I could come up with a rainbow sherbet. Now, I've tried a couple rainbow sherbets. They were pretty good. Well, one of them was uh, not so good. Yeah. I mean... If this helps, this is a 50 ml bottle and that's all that's gone of it. It's steeped and steeped and steeped. I just, I was not a fan of the flavor. I just didn't like it whatsoever. Um, and I was hoping that would be a quick fix. These guys here, Social Lizard Flavor Company, they're here in Dallas. They actually make a really good rainbow sherbet. I vaped almost all of theirs. Um, but let's do a DIY rainbow sherbet, uh, because, you know, that's what we do here. I'm just dropping shit everywhere. As many of you know, I'm a big fanboy of TFA, uh, TPA, TFA, tomato, tomato, um, I do really like the Flavor Apprentice. They they have really, really good flavors. They're affordable. And their customer service is probably the best customer service I've ever dealt with. <clears throat> I've tried to make a... I am still trying to make a good Cracker Jacks flavor. Um, my first one tasted a lot like kettle corn with a little bit, with a very, very small hint of caramel. But uh, the more it steeped, the more it smelled and actually tasted like good I didn't post it it tasted like uh, da, 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 da. what's it called maple syrup which is I mean not a bad thing I like maple syrup on my pancakes on my waffles I actually like maple syrup on my sausage patties don't knock it till you try it y'all it's a uh... my kids always made fun of me for it until they tried it and they're like wow this is actually really good but, <clears throat> I'm still working on it. So as soon as I get it, I promise, I promise I'll put up Cracker Jacks. Rainbow Sherbert, I think will be an easy, easy mix to do. TFA has Rainbow Sherbert as a base. It smells just like Rainbow Sherbert. It actually has a little bit Each time I whiff it, I get another another scent. Uh, I can smell the orange, and I can smell the raspberry. I don't really smell much lime, which is good. Uh, I'm not a big fan of lime sherbet anyways. Oh, damn. I don't know. Thank you for bearing with me as I load up fresh cotton here. What I probably need to do is get a, like a Derringer RDA for uh, for this purpose and this purpose alone is just testing because uh, they're small they're easy to build on kind of I had one and I broke it
so that wasn't the best of uh, experiences, but that's okay. For this mix, I'm going to do a, a 15 mil because I don't know if I'm going to like it. And I advise all of you until you get uh, a mix down that you know that you like get it and it works out perfect for you do 15s or fives or tens you know do a small batch and from there we'll go uh it'll increase one one other thing i i suggest you purchase is these right here these mailing labels they're the avery 8160s <clears throat> right here this is what i use uh, and the reason I suggest you use them is you can write on them. You can write, you know, what your percentages are, which I'll do on this one. But for this, I'm going to use 8%, which is, you know, uh, 1.2 mils in a uh, 15 mil. Uh, it's a little bit small of a syringe. I'll use the bigger one, even though I didn't want to. One point two mils of sherbet base. Shoot it right in there. I mean, it doesn't take that much. This is a what a fifteen mil bottle, and that's. I mean, there's almost none gone. So to start, if you get the the sample packs of the of the three mil, four mil bottles. I mean, they're just little, but shit, if you're just starting, you get a bunch of flavors for real cheap. Give it a shot. And we know that, I know I like, um, <coughs> three milligram strength. So that's, what is that? 0.03 times 15 is half a half a mil, 0.45. So that's for 100 milligram base. So I'm actually going to do 0.9 uh, mils of nicotine because I want it to be. Three, uh, uh, it doesn't make any sense, I know. I'm used to using 100 milligram base, and when you use 100 milligram base, it's 0.9 and a 30 mil. So this way, you know, it translates out okay. Oh, keep that out of reach of the little ones. I'm gonna shaky, 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 shaky my VG here. What, honey? One minute. My little girl wants some ice cream. She's so cute. She's trying to be quiet because she knows I'm making a video. I probably should have grabbed a... Uh, little bit of bigger syringe here but meh, this one worked out just fine I just keep paper towels on hand they're, they're great for when you're mixing now there's a couple of schools of thought some people like to weigh out their their liquids I, I don't um, I don't have a scale the scales 30 bucks quite frankly I don't want to invest the money in it. So, I mean, you, you do what you want. Um, there we go. There's a little 15 mil of uh, rainbow sherbet. It smells like rainbow sherbet. Now, is it gonna taste like rainbow sherbet? That's the big question. And Chris, I know you've been uh, asking what's going on. How about that, man? I'm putting up a video for you today. 
vaping it on my RX with the overcast at a low, low 88 watts. Ooh. It's good. It tastes like rainbow sherbet. What can I say? 8%. Rock on, man. Thanks for watching, guys. You know my normal spiel. Join Kassaw at minimum, right? Check out Vaping Militia. If you don't want to pay for it, go to Vaping Militia on Facebook. Jews for Troops. Even though we'd like to DIY, try to support your local uh, brick and mortars. Thanks for watching. Vape safe. May the vape be with you.